Hey, yo, welcome back to Cloudy TV. And if you're new, welcome to Cloudyville. You know what I'm saying? We're in the streets, so go ahead and subscribe. Feel me? Like. If you like the video, don't show no fake love. You feel me? And share with your peoples. You know what I'm saying? Today we got a video by Fox 13 Tampa Bay called New Life Discovered Under Antarctica's Ice Sheet. So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. They both science pro is here to explain all of this for us. This is a strange one, huh? This is a strange one, but when you find out what these scientists did and what these folks do just to learn stuff, it's amazing. So it was a five hour. F Man, I've been saying for so long that it's life under the ice and all that stuff in Antarctica. I feel like Antarctica is one of the first places to ever create it. Or, I mean, and I feel like it's a place where all of our secrets are at, like the real Area 51. I think that's in Antarctica. I think all the alien stuff is in Antarctica. And all the stuff that, like, all the new disease, all that stuff, bro, I think is coming from the animals that these scientists are um, doing their experiments on. I think they're starting to get out the lab somehow. And you know what I'm saying? That's why it's like all these things that's gonna, we don't really have a cure for it. You know what I'm saying? Or low key, it is coming from other islands. But I think a lot of stuff originated from Antarctica. I think that's where it started from first because it's the one place where water doesn't melt water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Light, right from their closest station that they had, and they camped out. They were intense for a few months. They ate dehydrated food. All they were trying to do was to find the history of this ice shelf that they were on, which is thousands and thousands of miles and a half mile deep. So here's what they did. They had to bore a hole. And what they did was they took 20 tons of snow and they melted it. They had to create 20,000 liters of hot water How long did that because take? they had to dig through this ice. So then they pumped it through a pipe, which lowers down into this borehole. It took them 20 hours to melt mm. through the ice. And they kept doing this over and over and over again to try to collect sediment from the bottom. And that's what they wanted to do. But here's the problem, they kept coming up empty. One time they actually went down and their camera bumped this object. Okay, this dark thing turns out to be a rock, which you see there, mm -hmm. where the camera hits it. Mm -hmm. So the camera writes itself and then it reveals life life on the rock they weren't even looking for this and the actual scientist was like Wait, are they saying... a biologist i had no idea what this was but they found a layer of bacteria called a microbial mat russell and they found little sponges as well on this rock and Ooh, they were that just... means bro that means life itself is starting to create from that rock like the way we were made we were made for minerals on you know what i'm saying so it's basically saying it's having the same like evolution that we humans had, you know what I'm saying? How we became what we are. It's having the same exact stages and everything. Like, that's crazy. And plus to know it's like really cold and stuff down there. Like, I wouldn't think it's anything down there, you know what I'm saying, except for aliens. But I wouldn't think that would be fishes and stuff like that. Like that deep down there, I don't think so. Cause I feel like maybe the water's way too cold. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everything in down there damn near freeze, you know what I'm saying? That can breathe, damn near freeze, but dumbfounded. I don't know. Because how how could this survive? It's 160 miles away from an open ocean where it could achieve any light at all. Again, it's thousands of feet down. It's probably 4500 to 5000 feet down. Yet there was life. So what they're thinking is is that maybe the currents underneath this ice shelf are bringing in old decayed marine animals and allowing them to grab those on the way through. They didn't find any fish, but this does indeed call for further study. I mean, just an amazing thing that they happened, a one in a million chance to bump into this rock and find life. And now they've only measured about a tennis courts full, <laughs> you know, of work in something that's thousands of miles wide. Wow. I mean, are they able to bring up any of it? No. Nope. That hole is really, really small. They're not able to bring any of it up right now. They're Man, if I was the president, bro, Joe Biden, bro, you need to 
get your big machines and stuff bro and drill down there bro y'all need to see what kind of life would be bro y'all could probably find something that y'all could put on all humans to make us like breathe better or run better or y'all probably find like some stuff that can help with the medicine and all that bro y'all need to find y'all go down there you know what i'm saying see the fact that they not doing that y'all i feel like they trying to finesse all of us bro they trying to study all this stuff in the background like we ain't gonna bring it up we just gonna go down there and study it probably build a base or something down because i feel like they're they uh, i feel like we probably got some secret bases underwater i feel like it's possible you know what i'm saying the technology we have is possible you feel me so i feel like that's what they doing they just trying to study in secret you know because there's no way bro y'all just gonna tell us this information that there's life being being brought under an Ar antarctica ice sheet bro this is water under ice this is water under ice underwater bro that is crazy bro that makes no sense but that's exactly what antarctica is bro we need to be down there and they bro they down there bro they just not trying to tell us bro because if they're not going to tell us this stuff bro if they gonna tell us this stuff and then not and then tell us that they not gonna go down there to look, you know damn well somebody from over here gonna try, man, and then you gonna probably bring back something we don't want. The way they're gonna so. collect it, but they haven't had a chance to yet because that, again that's not their department. They were there looking for sediment. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then now you gotta get a biologist down there sure. and try to figure all this out. But this just goes to show you that life can be found in mo most extreme examples. Thousands of miles oh, below crazy, ice. I just think it's a great story. I think it's fascinating. And another thing to say is yeah. life always finds a way, <laughs> doesn't it? It finds it a will. way to survive in the worst of places. Wow, cool. Yeah, that's Thanks, crazy, Dave. bro. We Come need around. to go down there. Hey, man, if y'all like the video, leave a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? I'll put more like this out. Uh, that's crazy. I'm not going to lie. That That's kind of crazy because... I've always, I've always say Antarctica was a weird, weird place, bro. And if one of y'all think it's a weird place, man, y'all leave a thumbs up because why is that a place where a lot of people don't go? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't go there, like I said, unless they have a lot of money or they're scientists themselves. Those people that was there probably had a lot of money because how else would they get there? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, leave a like on the video. You feel me? Uh... If y'all subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to Cloudyville. If you're newly subscribed, I hope you enjoy your stay. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all in the next one.